Science-based targets show businesses how much and how quickly they need to decarbonize. That is, how much the company should reduce its carbon and other greenhouse gas emissions over a specific time frame. Every target starts with a baseline. That's the emissions your company is emitting at the start of the time frame. We call this the base year. Let's look at an example science-based target. In this science-based target, 2022 is the base year for the company's scope one and two and scope three targets. So any reductions will be measured against the company's emissions from that year. When selecting a base year, there are three important considerations. The first is that it is no earlier than 2015. The second is ensuring your business has verifiable scope one, two, and three emissions data for this year. That's because to develop an adequate benchmark, businesses need to provide a clear and accurate greenhouse gas inventory. The final consideration is that the base year must be representative of typical business activity. An unusual year of business activity that does not represent business as usual should not be used. For example, if an unexpected extreme weather event significantly impacted a company's operations in any given year, then that year should not be used. Additionally, if business activities have significantly changed since a particular year, such as a retail company switching from operating its own stores to franchising, then that year is not representative and should not be used. Selecting the right base year helps ensure emissions reduction targets are both ambitious and achievable, which is why it's important to use the SBTI's resources to help select the right year when setting your targets. Learn more about our methodology and guidance on our website.